Are you wanting to 3D print big cosplay helmets and props but only have a small printer such as an Ender 3? Well in this video I'll be showing you how to cut up those 3D files using Mesh Mixer. Let's chop it! Hi, Tracy here from Astrocyte Cosplay. You may be thinking that you need a big printer to print those big cosplay helmets and props. However, it's really simple to cut these up using Mesh Mixer so they can fit on any size printer. It does take a little bit more work to piece these back together using glue or PLA welding, but it is possible. So let's jump on over to the computer and have a look at some quick tips. So here we are in Mesh Mixer. For this first simple process, I'm gonna use this Moon Knight helmet by Bionic Author. Now this process is great for any helmets or props that don't have a lot of detail and you'll see why in a minute. So we're going to go to edit and we're going to use this plain cut tool. Now this is going to cut straight along this line. So you really don't want to be doing in anything like the eye or anything that's got a lot of detail. So let's say we move it up a little bit here and chop off the head. So we'll go to, we've got to change this to cut slice keep both because we want to be able to print the top and the bottom section separately and we just leave it on remeshed fill and go accept so it doesn't look like it's done anything but i promise you that it has so we're going to use that plain cut tool again because this is still going to be too big to fit on a smaller printer and we're going to cut off the back here so that we're going to use this rotation tool this time and say we want to do it at 90% um, so it's straight up and down and then you can move this back and forward so you don't want to go over this detail section here try and get the section that has the least amount of detail and again slice keep both and go accept so after we've done all the cutting that we want to do we're going to actually separate the shells here so edit menu separate shells so when you do this, you'll see this, that we now have four different sections of our helmet. So to export each of these as different STLs, you can click on them or you can click over here to get the section that you want. And then you go export and then you can just save down your STL file where you need to. So jumping over to Curie, you can see that this Moon Knight helmet is definitely not going to fit on an Ender 3, especially at 116%, which is the sizing that we needed for it to fit. But now you can see here that now that we've cut off the back and I've cut off the top, it fits this main section on the Ender 3. So you've just got to keep cutting up, keep trying until you get to a sizing that the individual parts will fit. Question for cosplayers, what 3D printer do you own? Leave a comment below. So now we're going to show you another method using this Captain Marvel helmet by Happy Moon. So say we just want to cut off just the jaw section, for example, so that we can actually get our heads inside this helmet. Now if we use that plain cut feature that we did previously, rotating that down, so say we wanted to cut it here, You'll notice this here, that it is cutting it here on the jaw, but it's going to cut off, say, the nose at the same time. So cancelling that, we actually have this other option to go into Select using the Brush tool and using Symmetry here. We can actually select just the sections that we want to cut. So just selecting on this side. So you'll see here, just the orange sections is the part that will do the plain cut. So if we go to Edit, Plain Cut, and then rotating that. And as long as you stay within that gray section, in there is where it's going to cut. And we can flip to see both sections that it's gonna keep. So say we wanted it up high here. And so that looks pretty good, but you can see here that the nose has remained intact. So we're gonna do the same. We're gonna go slice, keep both, accept, and then edit, separate shells. Now you'll see that we have two sections and two shells here. So we've got the jaw that can be printed separately plus the rest of the helmet. Obviously, if we're trying to fit it on a small printer, we would need to continue cutting this up till we're happy with it, but that would be a way that you can also cut up your helmets. Now you know how to cut your 3D files, make sure you check out this video to learn how to scale them to fit you. I'll see you over there.